Well, actually, one reason I came to Scottsdale Healthcare was because I was so overwhelmed by what the volunteers did back then, and certainly I'm very impressed at what they what they've done since then. But I was just very impressed with how the volunteers were just integrated into the fabric of the culture here at Scottsdale Healthcare. And over the years, I've learned both from reading as well as uh, getting to know some of the volunteers that were there in the early days about how they really helped plant some seeds for developing a community hospital for then what was a very small town. And very impressed about not just what they did, but the energy and the passion that they put behind it. Well, I think the, the main legacy of the, uh, of the auxiliary, of the volunteers, is that relationship with the community. They really are the face of this hospital uh, at the level of the patients. Certainly the nurses are, but the volunteers are the only people who are able to go from the hospital to the community and bring things into our hospital system. Uh, innovation, a different point of view, uh, and they are certainly well respected, uh, and they are always there. That's. Uh, that's the leg of the stool, that's the part of the system that without the volunteers, this would just be an ordinary hospital. Well, it's been my privilege, pleasure, and honor to work with the Scottsdale Healthcare Auxiliary since 1990 when I came, which is over 20 years. And in the span of that time, I've had an opportunity literally to work with hundreds of different auxilians in a variety of ways, and each one of those has been a positive experience for me. I think another thing is that they bring a can-do attitude with them every day to work. And that spreads, it's infectious, and it spreads to every employee, all of our 6,600 employees, because we're all touched by the life of an auxilian one way or another every day in what we do. And it's exciting to see them come with a smile and come with a positive attitude and a desire to do something that's going to truly make a difference in the lives of our patients. And we appreciate what they do because it helps make us better at our jobs as well.
strongest memory that i would have is probably their responsiveness to a crisis that we were in at one of the campuses with a major fire they literally came from everywhere i think from other campuses uh, to the osborne campus and assisted us as we evacuated many of the patients from the intensive care unit and so forth uh, uh, they were everywhere. They, they, we, we could not have accomplished what we did that day without injury, without uh, any incident with patient care, uh, without them. So it just, I mean, to me, the, the fondness is that they stood tall and helped us dramatically at that point in time. When I look at the history and I look at the things that the auxiliary was doing even before the hospital was formed back in 1961, up through the present day, I'm amazed that they did things like collect baby jars for specimens and that they also made little hats for babies and that they also raised the money for an iron lung in the very beginning when that was important and critical and have done things like that ever since. They brought something to the table that none of us could. They are, the, they are our conscience in many respects. We, are, we do what we do technically and we're trained to do that. Uh, they are not trained in the medical skill, they're trained in people skills, and that really shows through. Well, Scottsdale Healthcare volunteers are integral to our team. They're really integral and, and integrated with our team. If you go to, uh, for example, the operating room areas and you see the volunteers and how they make a substantial uh, difference in the lives of the visitors of families who are having surgery in that particular day, and they're just integral uh, to that whole care plan that, that we have uh, from, the, from the operating room team's perspective. And so regardless of where they work and where, where they contribute, uh, they're just an integral part of the team. And when I talk to members of the, um, the employee staff, uh, they'll, they'll just uh, uh, repeat that and, and just reinforce that on a daily basis. The number of hours were matched almost dollar for dollar no matter what year. The auxiliary has always stepped up with a major investment in not only uh, the hospital, but in our community of Scottsdale. During my tenure here, I think there are two or three things that come to mind when I think of the contributions of the auxiliary. Uh, one of those was a highlight for me in 1991, we formed the endowment for the auxiliary, which was a very interesting process. There was some fear and trepidation. We started with about $50,000. And since that time, we've been able to raise a total of almost $2 million for our principal and our corpus. A uh, second one was the commitment for the Thompson Peak Lobby, which was a million dollars. And now the name of the Scottsdale Healthcare Auxiliary proudly stands in the lobby for all to see who walk through its doors. Well, one of my fondest memories of the auxiliary is in how they have stepped up every time that we have developed a new initiative and have really grown in size and sophistication as, as Scottsdale Healthcare has over almost 50 year period of time. And one of the most fond memories I have is when we started developing plans for the new Thompson Peak Hospital several years ago. And the volunteers stepped up by assembling the number of volunteers to make sure that they were there the day the hospital opened and certainly by making a very generous contribution for the lobby. And a fond memory I have is that first time I walked in the Thompson Peak Hospital before it opened and to seeing that very first impression of not only the, the, the lobby that's been uh, dedicated and donated by the volunteers, but the very first impression that our patients and visitors have of that hospital is, are the volunteers at that front desk.
If there was one word that, that I could pick out uh, to describe the volunteer, the auxiliary as an organization, I'd have to probably say assertive. Uh, on rounds, uh, you see them, you talk with them, stop in the hallway, you chat, they are not afraid to speak up, you ask an opinion, they'll give a very clear and concise opinion, uh, which always was helpful. Um, so they became eyes and ears for me during my 13, 14 years as CEO. Uh, so I think assertiveness is, uh, and that's a good thing. The one word that describes a volunteer from my perspective is passion. Their passion for Scottsdale Healthcare, for the individual contribution that they make in terms of time and talent and energy to the organization and the long standing passion that they have that really I think is ingrained in our culture here at Scottsdale Healthcare. I would say that every Scottsdale Auxilian is in one word indispensable. We could not do without them. They are an integral part of what we do every single day at Scottsdale Healthcare, 365 days a year, and we are totally appreciative of all that they do for us and our community. Fifty years is a long time for the auxiliary to have been in existence. Um, if you go forward another 50 years, I can only believe it'd be more of the same. But the core uh, of men and women uh, providing services uh, out of compassion, out of love, um, I think that's going to be there in the future. I think the legacy of our volunteers is that they are absolutely integral to our mission as a nonprofit community based health system. And in many ways, uh, nonprofit health systems are under siege today. And I have been committed for over 30 years to spending my career in nonprofit health care systems uh, that are community based. And so the contribution that our volunteers have made over the last 50 years, and I'm sure will make for at least 50 more is absolutely uh, a, a lasting legacy because it really reinforces the, the mission of Scottsdale Healthcare, what it is and what it'll be moving forward. So despite some challenges that we have moving forward in, in healthcare, I'm absolutely optimistic about our future and a big reason for that is because of the legacy that our Scottsdale Healthcare volunteers and auxiliary have left for so many years.